Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. Uh, coach, you were on the road last week up to Widener um, and got a big uh, conference win, 20-6, to uh, last Saturday. Uh, just kind of take us through the win and uh, what went well for you guys. Um, we won the physical battle. I think that was something that, um, as we looked at the film on Sunday, um, you know, we, it was probably the most physical game that we've played all year. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we were able to run the ball a little bit. Uh, defensively, the guys were flying around, and I think we won the battle of the hits. And that's, you know, that's something that we've worked on and talked about since since spring ball is, is being able to go on the road and 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 really be a physical presence on the field. And I think if you, you go back and you watch the film, you know, it was evident that we were the more physical football team on Saturday. Yeah. And I think you know, for us. It's a big step forward in, in, in our philosophy and the things that we want to accomplish long term. Yeah, yeah, certainly physicality. Certainly on the defensive end, you know, you held them to six points, under 300 yards offense for the fifth straight game. Um, you know, obviously a couple of standouts. Uh, Hanif Jones, two interceptions, um, was named to the D3 football team of the week. And then um, Isaiah Pitts with a big scoop and score uh, in the fourth quarter that kind of gave you a little breathing room. Sure. And, and, and it's interesting that you talk about those two guys and the success that they've had. You know, Hanif started this year as a safety. Yeah. And, and Isaiah started this year as an outside linebacker, not an inside linebacker. Yeah. So I think what you're seeing in those two cases is, you know, they're maturing into their new positions right. and their new roles. Um, but I think also it, it, it's taking coaching from practice into game situations and then being able to adjust. Um, you know, one example is, you know, we'd given up a, about 116 yards rushing in the first half yeah. and, and gave up 24 in the second. So being able to get in at halftime, take the adjustments out in the second half is something that everybody in the group is doing. Um, coaches are doing a good job putting, putting players in positions and players are executing. And yeah. that's something that, that, that we look forward to. Yeah, and that's obviously the key. Obviously, the coaches can make the adjustments on paper, but obviously the players have to go and execute. And they've certainly been able to do that in several games this year. Absolutely, and and that's that's a big piece because you know you, you never you're never quite sure what you're going to get from Saturday to Saturday. Obviously, you know there's yeah. film study and you game plan and things like that, but you know people are going to come out and, and do some different things and. Um, to be able to adjust in, in game is, is something that the guys are getting better and better and better at, and it's going to help us down the road. Yeah, um, and certainly you talked about your success on the road. Um, you know, you're now four and zero on the road. One road game left. You know, in the regular season. Um, you know, what makes it that you guys are able to be so successful away from Mustang Stadium? Um, I think it's focus. You, you know, our guys are able to get on the bus and, and, and settle down and, and be focused on the job that we have to do. Um, you know, we've talked since we started football here that they're real, they're, we, we can never look at it as home and away. Right. You know, it's another job to do. And, and the challenge that, that, that we hand the team every week is, can you be better next week than you were last week? Yeah. Um, and I think that, that the guys are really taking ownership of that. And, you know, in, in this being one of the best teams that I've been a part of as far as guys looking out for one another, guys holding each other accountable, all plays into the success on the road. Yeah, certainly. Obviously, when those guys have each other's backs, they're kind of looking at it. We've talked about it, you know, kind of off camera, kind of building that culture of accountability to each other rather than just to the coaching staff. Absolutely. It's uh, it's quite remarkable to watch the leadership in, in our program. Um, you know, it's interesting. We practiced this morning, um, and the guys pulled a fast one on us. They came out in, uh, in shells and not full <laughs> gear. Um, and they thought that we weren't going to notice, but we noticed pretty quick, and we we decided we were going to let it roll a little bit. And they really did a nice job. You yeah. know, we got the same things out of Wednesday morning practice as we always do. Yeah. Um, so it was, you know, when they can take that kind of leadership and, and make a decision and execute that decision at a very high level, you know, we're completely comfortable with that. Yeah. Um, so now this week you're back home, uh, homecoming this week against Wilkes. I'm obviously be you know full stadium. Um, you know, kind of what do you expect out of the game on Saturday? Well, again, it's focus. You, you know, the guys got to got to show up Saturday morning at breakfast and be ready to go and and be ready. You know, to play a four quarter football game. One of the things that that we talk about is getting to that high level and maintaining that high level. Um, you know, whether it's homecoming, whether we're we're up at Widener, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, we've got to bring that focus and that physicality every Saturday and be the best football team that we can be. And we feel like if if we can continually week after week be better than we were the week before we're going to set ourselves up for success all right coach well uh, we wish you the best of luck this saturday and um we'll talk to you next week thank you all right for ed hoddle i'm greg royce this has been the ed hoddle show